right, this is Michael. We're gonna go ahead and try the hairspray trick now on the handlebar grips and hopefully that will do the trick. So let's do this. Uh, where's the handlebar grips again we have here? I think I might put it back in here for safekeeping. Probably the mirrors I put it back here. I don't know if I put the handlebar grip here, but we'll find out. I think we have probably did. That or I put in probably this box here maybe. Let's see if they are in here. No, I don't see them. Just see the car cup holder. So let's go ahead and try to see if there's a handlebar grip in there. There's it there. Beautiful NCY handlebar grip. We're going to wipe it dry just to make sure we clean it off from any kind of residue. Uh, it didn't really rain last night, so unfortunately I couldn't really test uh, um, the covers, unfortunately. But we tried. Uh, let's see here. Probably going to need something to go underneath. Pick this nice cardboard here. Or I could even roll the scooter here and work on it a little bit more just in case I need to get out. But I think it'll be fine. We can just do it out here. It just kind of gets me a little paranoid because I remember having to pound in so hard last time. Uh, we still have to throttle in there, so it should be fine. We're going to release off the latch here. Kind of nice there. Oop. All right. In fact, we probably won't even remove the whole cover. We'll just go ahead and take out the front. Get some visibility. Hopefully there's no more pee stain. <laughs> Silly dog. All right, there we go. Dogs will be dogs. All right. I'm gonna get this cover off. And then I'm probably gonna maybe start prepping up the, you know, our red tight, lock tight, I mean. A little dirt here from where I'm not sure. A little dirt marks. All right, you can see here it's dry as a whistle. So this is right here. We'll scrape it off a little bit. I'm not sure what kind of stuff this is on here. Just kind of get it nice and clean. Prepare it for, we're gonna use this hairspray. It's just a cheap dollar store. Hairspray only cost me a dollar. Fast drying, hold. We're gonna spray it on the grip and then we're gonna slide on. Now let's see how we're gonna do this. We got our grips. Make sure that you, you want to look at the smaller one is for the left hand and then the bigger hole here is going to be for the right hand it's going to fit this guy here so that one's going to get ready to do that so let's see how we're going to do this oh how do we want it how do we want it line yep bring this guy back here let's walk him back over it's a nice design I wish I got the blue one now because <laughs> I got the black one with a little bit nuts, but I think the blue one probably matched the handlebars. I like the blue one that uh, APM has. Oh, huh, it's weird. So it's actually going to be facing you no matter what. It's going to be upside down. So if you face like this, it's going to be upside down, right? So you pretty much probably want the bat symbol, I call it. Uh, you probably want the NCY bat symbol here face upright because if you turn it this way, it's upside down. I don't know why they made it that way, really. Um, interesting. Let's see what the other grip one said. Oh, let's see what this one says. See, this one will be upside down too. So wherever this throttle is resting, that's why you put it in here. You want to see where it's resting perfectly. So it's resting right here, right? So what we're going to do is actually squeeze it in here. So we definitely want the NCY face upward. Or maybe not. We can tilt it a little bit downward. I apologize. So if you really want to showcase your NCY brand, you can tilt it somewhat like this. Wait, am I in the wrong? This is, oh no, yeah, I'm in the right one. This is the big one goes here. So yeah, it's gonna be upside down regardless of what you do. So you need to actually, the only, the only thing is the NCY should be facing you. So you wanna be upward like this, correct? So we're gonna gear for it. We're gonna have the NCY facing us sort of like this. This will probably work. Preferably upright like this if you wanna just have it balanced. So you wanna showcase it, I will probably do it up like this. That way when you're walking over to school, you can see the NCY logo and stuff like this. Because then this shows upside down, looks kind of awkward. This shows upright, okay, but I think probably this way you're, you're probably safer bet. So we'll put it straight up like this. So you guys can watch me attempt this now. Hairspray, huh? I'm almost, almost likely thinking, man, it can't be that easy, just hairspray. Now this isn't a brand that APM uses though. He probably used some, what's, I forgot what uh, the brand that he uses. He said they're like a couple dollars. These ones are even cheaper, they're a dollar. 
but hopefully they have the same he said make sure there's an aerosol so this is aerosol all right here we go he took it and then he sprayed it so this is the one that we're putting into this side <laughs> just want to make sure i blow on it make sure every dust and anything gets off okay so we're gonna do this we're gonna aim it first here you can see how it comes out see that little sorry that little lube kind of oily silver i don't know if it's oily but i didn't see any oil in the green and here's the ingredients water ethanol alcohol which is supposed to dry things up really fragrance polymer i got the unscented brand at least okay we're not trying to smell good here <laughs> I mean, it wouldn't hurt, but that's fine. Okay, so here we go. He said you have 10 minutes to work it, correct? So here we go, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna spray it in. I'm gonna let it glide itself, sorta. Oh, look at that. Just kinda coat it nicely. Hopefully there's not too much here. There we go. I made sure I got a little bit everywhere. Okay, all right, let's do this. Okay, so I got about 10 minutes, right? Holy shit, it's going. Hopefully I don't push my scooter out. So let me keep on forcing in there. He said you actually have to use your, um, but if you look at it, I'm not that strong, but it's gliding for me. All right. Uh, we have compact. Oh, wow. <laughs> APN doesn't kid around. This is perfect too. Look, check it out. I got exactly where I wanted it. I don't, well, maybe I could twist it. Uh, I think it's perfect. I look at this way and I look at it this way all right so let me work on this side and just kind of squish it some more I do want it to go in a little bit more I'm not sure because I really want to pack it I want to get into the, like, the metal if it's possible so let me go get a mallet hammer again when it dries that's amazing I'm not sure it could have done same thing with water and soap but what's one good thing about hairspray is you get the you get the the sticky effect afterwards so Kind of doubles. I've got to be careful while I'm doing this one. I'm gonna try to hit it, get smacked in a little bit more. But I gotta be careful my mirror of it might just kind of decide to take a break on me. There we go. One second here. All right. Oh, nice. Look at that. I'm not sure you guys can see it. nice it's compacting it i think it's compacting it there we go a little hairspray out inside and in open oh it's sticky too and i know what he's talking about i feel the stickiness now so that's awesome so it's in there and you just let it set for 24 hours and you should have no more problem there the only way to get this sucker back off it's probably good old um what do you call that? Good old air compression. But we didn't even damage it. What's that? And look at that, it flushes, well, not perfectly. I can still get a little bit more of this into the metal, but I'm happy. I'm really happy. It's a little sticky now. Sweet, we got one down. That one's the one that's gonna break me. So let's find out, okay? So, typical 99 cent store brand hairspray. <laughs> Who would guess, right? And again, you do not want to spray inside this guy right here. Um, you can save that when you take it back out. You can put like, you know, the bearing grease inside between the metal rubbing into the plastic underneath. You want to save that for some bearing grease or something like that. But for the outside part, you want to slip this in and you want to stick, right? So you'll probably just use the same thing, hairspray. And we're going to do the same thing to this side. Now, even though it's a little bit bigger for you too, so, you know, it's not, be careful though, you want to twist it. You kind of want to lay it to rest. So wherever it lays to rest, let's see. Kind of get an idea, feel for it. Okay, so it's gonna lay the rest. It's gonna lay the rest here or there. Let's see this one. So this is where it's really resting. This is where it's coming in. So let's see here. It can lay the rest here or there. See, that's the thing. It's kind of, it has a little free play before it really turns the, the nozzle. So you can decide whether you want to go like this and then have it rest here. 
at the most end point or let it rest there. So, or you can do in the middle somewhere, right? Not too much here, not too much there. Just depends how you want to do it. I don't know yet. I'm still thinking. This is halfway right here. Not here, not there. It's like halfway. So this is probably where I want to be. Okay, once we get that, once we spray it in there, we're going to push this guy in the same way we did the other one, okay? So here we go. <laughs> I'm not sure maybe instant wise a little bit more easier because it's like like a, you know, a little balloon sort of for us, but we'll find out. So let's take this hairspray again. Let's, I'm going to coat it quite a bit. There we go, get all in there. Get all up in the mix. Okay. Here we go. Oh shit. All right. <clears throat> Gosh, this is it. This is the this is the struggle here. <clears throat> APM says twist. It's got one of those grooves, you know. And he said you got ten minutes to work it, so let me work this guy here. Hopefully the fast hole is not going to do me wrong, right? So here we go. <clears throat> so what I'm doing is just to pull it from here. Don't want to. It's going, but forcefully. See, rubbing the skin. Oh yes. <laughs> oh yeah. All right. Oh man, it was a little bit forceful, but there's no other way around it. What's great is you can almost get to where you can really seal it. Check it out. We did it. This is why I was like painstakingly delaying for so long here. So you can see here the grip went in. Um, you can see there I got all the way to the almost the white area there flushed. How's that for you? Look at that. Thank you, APM. So we got it. So trick with the, getting on the grips is just good old hairspray. You can see here, I, I can almost flush a little bit more, so I'm gonna do that even better. I'll try to flush it. So here we go. Let's see if I can, you say you got about 10 minutes, so I still got some time. <clears throat> All right, it's not going anywhere no more. I think we got flush as we can. This looks like it size seals better than the other one. I think it's end to end now. Let's see if I can get more of this guy in there. That way, push the load forward more, supposedly. Uh, a lot of rubbing. Turned white on me already. <laughs> What's the deal with that? <laughs> Look at that, it was nice and black, right? All of a sudden looks like kind of dusty white. <laughs> what the deal with that one? But it's on there. And then 24 hours gonna dry even more. There we go. There we go, we got our throttle. Might be a little tight rubbing on this guy a little bit. That's okay. A little assembly lube will, won't hurt it. I mean, a little mo bearing grease underneath will help it. Boom, boom, boom. So we got our throttle now. We can actually almost take the scooter out for a ride. Now we got our throttle grip in. But look at this one. This turned white all of a sudden. It's like magically just aged on us. This one's okay. So he still holds his black color. So hopefully this guy get back to his natural. So this right here, amazing. So yeah, I couldn't have done it without APM's uh, advice there on hairspray. <laughs> of all the things, 
just cheap hair hairspray. Even the ultra super hold here, fast drying, non non sticky, not sticky. So then we can put our bar and mirrors right here. You can see here the white flushes right there, right on it. So we're good. Now I also want to check out the brake bleeder here. We'll let this guy sit it for us. We're no longer needing to do. Look, no hammering, no damage here. I don't think I need to hammer anymore because it's not going anywhere anymore. It's like it's sealed really tight here. The crease mark. You can see a little wedge here, but other than that, it's pretty, it's pretty tight in there. Nice. After a while, you'll put some bearing grease or some... Oh, we got also put a, a throttle lube, which I have. I bought some of those too. We're going to apply that once we open it up and everything like that. So... Let's check out our brakes again. I'm already. I think what we're gonna do is, if anything needed, probably maybe retighten the bleeder bolt some more. I know I'm taking my chance. I'm getting down to the borderline here, but it's really hot out here. But that's probably the only way to fix it. So let's check this out. Let's see where our bleeder bolt is at. In fact, here we'll, we'll even grip the brake washer. See where that's at. All right. Let's go. See, when you first grip it, it's soggy. I haven't gripped it the whole day yet. Let's see what happens, okay? Look at this. I can touch it. But the minute you pump it, it'll start building pressure. No, it's soggy. It's staying soggy. Oh, no. So there's still air there, unfortunately. I don't want to mess with it right now because I don't want to create a leak issue. I mean, not. I don't want to create a, you know, brake fluid issue right now. So as long as it's not, like, dripping all over the place, we can fix that later. I'm going to try one more thing. And I'm going to tighten the bleeder bolt and see if that will work or not. Let's see here. I don't see any. See, I don't see any. I can tighten this a little bit more. I'm hoping it's almost do or die. If I tighten a quarter more turn, maybe that'll help, you know, prevent whatever is a little bit coming out here. See, I get nothing out of here. Let me take a little piece of paper to this. And here you go, I got my little leftover Little Caesars pizza napkin. Let me try to go ahead and dab it. See if I can get a little brake fluid at all coming out of there. Okay, give me one second. I can't believe I hammered it for almost six hours one point. You get the little throttle sleeve in there. You can see I kind of Kind of damaged it a little bit by warping it now with hairspray really that was it <laughs> simple simple chemical reaction helps you e even though it seems so freaking tight wouldn't even give in hairspray helped out okay there we go you guys gonna see me come from here the, the sun's beating on me now it's about a good oh gosh 89 degrees anything it's getting warm it's definitely getting warm Okay, so check this out. Okay, here we go. Putting it in there. See what it grabs. I think the bleeder bolt here is probably not like narrow enough maybe. I'm not sure what we can do because the hole is actually on the side of it. So normally the hole would do the trick, right? But anyway, oh look at that. See, still coming out. So it's never been dried. All right, so we're gonna do our best to tighten it some more. I'm afraid I'm gonna make a mess though if I start on this bleeder project again. So let's do that toward the end of some sort maybe, and we'll find out. I'll try tighten it some more. Maybe that's what I'll do. I'll get an eight millimeter socket right now. I'll just tighten it. And then that way we'll have another 24 hours to resuscitate this guy, or how to anyway. We'll have to break him open and then tighten it down, I guess. Yeah, because he's soggy again. Yeah, he's not He's not doing anything for us. Look at that. Look at that. Don't even have to go hard enough. So if we need to, we have to, have to probably bleed him open and then pump. Bleed and pump. It's going to be a tricky one. It's going to get messy. See, I hate to start the bleeding process again. And I have to open everything up and... It's a huge mess. But if I open them up, 
Maybe I could put a little bit on this canister. Try just open them. Do a quick bleed real quick. And then go back and lock them in. Let's see if I can do that. Let me get eight millimeter socket. Gonna find out if I can bleed and open them quickly before we end this chapter here. Hopefully I don't break them. If I break them, then there's a big more problem. I have to get another brake assembly. Um, that's fine. They're what, 20 bucks? Sucks, but oh man. Okay, let's let me find an eight millimeter socket. Seven millimeter. Got to get eight millimeter one. There we go. Okay, we're gonna try drive them in more with the eight millimeter socket. We're gonna open them. I'm gonna pump, and I'm gonna close. We really have nothing to catch them on. We're just depending on the socket wrench. I know my hands can get dirty, so let me see if I can get some gloves on. Just don't want to touch brake fluid right now. Let's do this. We're not going to open the master cylinder. We're going to see if we can just try and bleed it. Right open, open. This is pretty stirable. Just need one sided glove. Okay, I just need it for. I guess I'm turning it this way. I'm going to need it for my right hand side. So here we go. What I'm going to do is going to open it and then I'm going to tighten it. Open and tighten. Not sure out there how many pumps is going to be. Now with the handlebars too, we're going to set it. Uh, we're probably going to put our um, red Loctite on there. And we're going to need to probably put it away for 24 hours, not move it around. Uh, JB Weld included. So we got quite a few things planned for this. Hopefully it goes as planned. The, the brake bleeding wasn't something I want to deal with right now. But I got a feeling I'm going to do some damage here. Either one, break the bleeder bolt in the assembly. And need to get a new brake assembly, uh, which sucks. Okay, here we go. Uh, this brake assembly did, you know, strip the first bleeder bolt, and then we put another same version of the Chinese bleeder bolt in there, and still stripped that one. So. Um, let me see if I can angle in the way where you guys can see it. Well, you guys won't see it because there's no, there might not be a hose connected to it really. This is gonna be me straining it. So let me see if I can come this way or that way. Okay, so it's getting windy. So I'm not gonna open the master cylinder cap. I'm just gonna leave that for right now. Let's put my gloves on. This underneath it, catch the oil, kind of be coming out the brake fluid. Let's see if I can tighten this. Almost feel like I want to go tighten it right now, but I can't because I actually have to bleed it. I want to make sure the sock is enough for it as well. Yeah, it's enough. Okay, so counterclockwise, and then we got clockwise. So we're gonna loosen it, and then we're gonna pump the brakes, and then I'm gonna tighten it. Gonna go by field now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Hold it down. It's gonna squeeze some air out when I back it out. It's been squeezing air out, but it's weird. Maybe it did, but I didn't notice it. Okay, here it goes. We're gonna pump again, tightening it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I can feel it tightening because I feel like my socket is like going upright. 
release. Okay, tighten it back. And when I'm tightening, I'm just really careful. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Maybe because it needs a backflow, perhaps. I have to open the master cylinder cap. Is that probably what it is, maybe? Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. Close it back. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I don't think nothing's gonna come out of it unless. See, I'm, I'm, I'm loosening it quite a bit. Now I'm gonna tighten it quite a bit. I think it's holding by the vacuum because I didn't open the master cylinder cap because I never really bleed a brake like this one. Okay. Okay, that's tight. And I'm gonna pump one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, it's not really messy, but it's tight. Did you see there? A little bit dripped out. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go further and tighten it. Uh, you can see here the handlebar grip. It's pretty tight. There you go. See, look, I got it back a little bit. See, I can still forcefully squeeze it, but it's getting tight on its own. What I'm going to do now is this. I'm going to tighten this bad boy here. And then I'm going to go. You can see me tighten it. You can see the thread move here. So I'm actually going to drive this guy in more clockwise all right let's do this see a little brake fluid already dripped out that's all I got out of it really but let's see if we need to drive it in more to secure that little little hole at the bleeder bolt there now it might break just want you know so it breaks now yeah just pretty much change out the whole brake assembly again so here we go That's it. Uh, wasn't even really a quarter of a turn, but okay, that was it. I can't. I feel like it's not even gonna let me go anymore. All right, so move it out. So let's try this out and see what happens. See if it actually keeps his um, oil from not coming out. See that? Really, really, really nice. That's why I got the towel underneath it right here, or this guy here. Oh no, I shouldn't touch my. Touch my tripod. I had everything going pretty smoothly now. Uh, <laughs> let me let me use the napkin to clean my tripod a little bit. Just grabbed it with my hand. <laughs> that was it. <laughs> that wasn't a smart move. Okay. All right. Now I can wipe it. <laughs> Shit, maybe I'm not still taking off the glove yet. Let's kind of wipe this guy out. Keep him clean and clear. And let's see how he does in the next 24 hours. Yeah, getting the grip throttle was not that hard. It scared me a little bit because I had a really bad feeling about having to pound that throttle sleeve. The, you know, it's only a $2 plastic part, but it's a pain in the ass to get into the um, the, the throttle grip on the, on the throttle side. So I'm glad that uh, it went pretty easy. That way I could focus my energy on this guy here, which is gonna take my, my whole day probably. All right, so anyway, we're gonna go ahead and, we're gonna go and dry him from the inside as well. That way tomorrow when we come and check, make sure he's not, you know, internally bleeding again inside the bleeder bolt. So put this guy in there. You can see here, sucking a lot of it. A lot came out, so. And then we might even put a tie strap for that guy as well. Hopefully we can rebuild them to be tighter again. But there's no sign of leak on the cable, so that's a good sign. So it's either the bleeder bolt needs to be replaced at some another bleeder bolt, or the fact is the whole brake assembly again, it's gotta go. And either one is not that hard to change out, it's just having to refluid -flu everything again. Siphon everything again all over. 
but our brake fluid is already filled up where our hose line we hold it up right we shouldn't have to worry about that dripping out so we'll find out we'll see it does have gravity against us but maybe when you take it out we can cap it really quickly keep it from preventing it from you know splurring out so hopefully this guy right here will not leak anymore I don't think I can twist him any more clockwise. He seems really hard. Seems like he's easy. he's either gonna break off or he's not gonna go forward anymore. But he's a lot stronger than the other guy, that's for sure. The first one, I think we got close to about the same vicinity before he started giving up on us. There we go, it's still wet there, see? Try to find a <laughs> cleaner spot on this little shop rag, but not even a shop rag, this is just a, uh, this is just a, my little pizza napkin. Just got that in there just to have a soak up all that grease. We couldn't use anything like this to loop or grip to, but the only problem is though, it never dries out. So that means you're always gonna have slippery grips. And besides, brake fluid is harsh on plastic, rubber, or anything. So it'll probably eat away your grip, so you don't want that. So hairspray is probably the best substitute. It lubes for one thing, and then after 10 minutes or so, it starts becoming sticky. Uh, even though it advertised none, but it will. That's the only way it's gonna hold your hair, right? So, anyway. I go. I'm trying to wick out as much as I can so I can get a really good test after all this. Test. I wish I had some other napkin in my, my stomach. No, I don't. All right, well, anyway, we did it. This guy has a little bit too on him. Surprising the tool stayed clean. That's weird. Haha. <laughs> Look, the tool stayed clean. Didn't even get no brake fluid on it. Well, that's probably one of the cleanest uh, brake fluid sort of uh, uh, change we ever did. So yeah, we so we kind of pretty much retightened the the bleeder bolt just a little bit more. I'm not gonna push my luck because you know what happens. You can see here it's still dripping here, but that's from the bullet kind of going wacko on us. I wonder it drips here, right? So how could it make? Oh, there it goes. Some brake fluids underneath there, dummy. I was like wondering how did it carry all the way over there. Or another thing is, I don't think the piston could have. You think there's a leak in the piston? I would be damned. You know, I did check this, but there is a lot of brake fluid underneath here. But I don't think there should be a leak in the piston area. But we'll find out. All right, so let me just take a, my rag here real quick. Kind of wipe it dry. Keep everything in line. Okay, I wiped it clean array. I just want to stuff a little bit one more time just to make sure how it looks like. Let's see here. Yeah, it looks like it's getting starting to dry up on the zone here. But, you know, this might be like in the leftover residue and so forth. So what I'm going to do is here, I'm going to go ahead and uh, just go and tie the beak right here real quick. Then I'm also going to remove that other one off of it as well. So, ah, I want to get the, oh well, it's not going to get dirty that bad. So let's do this guy here. I want to take off the mirror though because he's bouncing back and forth here. He doesn't need to be here. Eventually we're going to take this guy off and we're going to replace him with one of these ram mounts that are more cleaner. And I think they're more better that way. So our grip looked like he was aging for a little bit and he still is looking like he's aging. What the heck? I have no idea. I mean, I'll just put like some, maybe some oil on him. Then that dries up really damn quick. Huh? Let's see if he even got through his pores or what. Anyway, he's good to go now. But we'll, we'll try to get a little, I don't know, some McGuire rubber or something. Uh, kind of help him out, keep him what he was looking before. Surprised that whatever that hairspray did to him made him kind of look like he's dried out. Look at that. I even did nothing other than put him on. Uh, all right, so let's go ahead and get this guy off. I'm going to take the mirror off because I want my mirror to keep on playing the game here with us. So it says, takes H6. So if I can turn them off, oh yeah, I can turn them off by hand. I don't even need the rocket. And I think the other one I forgot to, um, what do you call that, take off our, because he comes with a lug nut, he comes with a washer too. But I think the washer's stuck in there. I'm sorry. Well, stuck on this side, right? Would be. Yep, I think the washer's in there. Yeah, the washer's in there. 
So this guy doesn't have any more, which is good. All right, so let me put this down safely here. If I say I put it down safely, I really mean just put it down somewhere. <laughs> so I'm gonna put it down there for a second, okay? Let me put this guy here as well. All right, so what I'm gonna do is gonna tie strap them now. So we're gonna tie strap our bleeder brakes again. <laughs> Look at that, it's so horribly soggy. Oh, because it's actually all the way at the, it's actually all the way at the one. One is actually the lowest point, my bad. So it's four. Four doesn't seem too bad, but it can be way better. We're gonna put the six again, we're gonna tie it. We're gonna squeeze out every bit of air last from it. And let me get the tie strap. Okay, here we go. I want to make sure my charge is on or else we're not going to have any charge. That the phone's going to die again. So, give me one second here. Alright. Yeah, these are nice. Alright, so here we go. We got to do it to you, buddy. Again and again. I'm about just to cover it up for the day, but I want to actually do a double check again. Um, I did already. Uh, this is going to be pretty much set. We already got our brake lever pretty much tie strapped there. You can see here. And we're also going to put a little coating on our grip here. See how better we can get it. Uh, I guess maybe that hairspray did do <laughs> some kind of a, because it has alcohol stuff that might dry up the rubber pretty quickly. Maybe I did a little too much hairspray on that guy. I don't know. But anyway, you can't just wimp out on me like this. So I got everything cleaned up here already, all around. I might, my camera might die on me, who knows. So let me just do this real quick again. I'm gonna do like a, you know, squeeze it in again, just to find out. Uh oh, gotta get this here. So it keeps charging here while we're working on this. Gotta get this tripod, like stand here. Okay, it's not able to let me court much. It's look like it's dying, but I'm doing it again. I'm putting the thing through it. And it seems like it's actually drying up. Um, I don't think I see any more. So there it goes. Here's another clean one here. And I'm gonna try to, let me see if I can fit it in. All right, sorry about that. It's getting wiggly here. Okay, so I did was I put the little thing tube to test. Also, I sprayed some of this stuff here on the grip. You see it brought its lumen, well, it's kind of rubber feel back. It's wet and protect here, so. Got to put the moisture back into it. I guess what the whatever it did to the the hairspray did to it. That was amazing. Kind of just watched it age over, over quickly. And I did some for here there too. So now it's kind of nice and in there already. So got it sprayed thoroughly. So it's it's good. It's ready to go. It's got a good turn to it. It comes back slowly. It should retract a little quicker. But again, just give it some time. But I feel like I got really good control. So. Again, we're going to get some bearing grease underneath there so the plastic can ride a little bit more slipperier onto the metal shaft of the bar. So that'll be fine. So that'll, that'll work. So right now I don't want to twist it too much because I like it the way it's aligned right now. You can see here the NCY faces me upward a little bit like this and this guy here, same way. So it's in between the middle. See that? It's teeter taut. Beautiful. Again, thanks for APM Screening for recommending hairspray for one thing and then... The <laughs> Uh, I guess needing a wire protect. I figured the rubber is the same as a uh, wire finish or tire finish. It's the same thing anyway, so we might as well just use it. I'm not gonna do my tires or anything like that right now. But I wanna show you guys, did I did a test on this guy just to make sure he's good to go for 24 hour set because we have him strapped his brake lever right now all the way to number six. And he's tied in again, so hopefully he won't be just a one day guy again. But it seems like he's holding himself it seems like a little bit lesser fluid coming out of his hole. Uh, I don't really know yet. And I've been I've been like poking these guys in there and they're coming out pretty much very little. If anything from the tip. But I'll do it again just to double check. I'll do another roll here. Just kind of spread it. Can't believe I babysit this brake assembly that's much here. Should just replace them really. Oh man, it's like a $20 part really. I'm not sure it's just the bleeder bolt itself or what's the okay you can see here there's no markings on them so I'm gonna put them in go in see it goes in quite a bit turn it a little bit try to get the most out of this transaction before the camera dies on me because it's probably good like I said 89 degrees now out here so my sweats my back is sweating now see there I only get a little bit of the tip a little bit can't even tell if it's in the wet or not, right? So you can see here, 
a little bit of tip. See that? Can't tell if it's really, really wet or just kind of crunched up. But yeah, it is. Don't even feel it. You can't even feel it how if it's wet or not. So I'm gonna bite it off and get another dry piece. Let's do this again. Hopefully tomorrow will be even more drier. Shouldn't be same consistency of wetness. That means it's still leaking just slightly. You can't have a little bit of leak at all, I guess. Or else it's gonna make your brake soggy. And I think we can try one more time before we just can this as a brake assembly. See that? You can't tell. I can't see with the naked eye if it's wet or not. See, it looks dry to me. Maybe slightly, slightly minuscule. But it's definitely drier than the first one before. Pinch him off again. Let's do another round. See, that's dry. Dry as a popcorn fart here. Put him in. So tomorrow he shouldn't be any more, you know, weather than what we currently have right now. Where is that, right? Leave it for a second there like a dipstick. All right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. See that? I'm not sure it's just dirt or he's got a little bit of wetness, so you can't tell. So I guess it's a good sign. So tomorrow we shouldn't even be noticing it. <laughs> so I'm just going to put the cap in and get let rest for a day. And then tomorrow what we're going to do is start maybe thinking about JB welding it because our part will be here on the probably the first. We're going to get another ram mount for this side. So we're going to take this sucker off. And that should do it. So I'm loving this great. It doesn't feel oily too, by the way. I put some of that tire thing. I was afraid it might actually, you know, feel oily. That's not what I want. You don't want your grip to be slipping off your hand. That's definitely a, a dangerous stuff. So it's just kind of moistening it up, which I think it did its job right there. So that's it for now. We're going to go ahead and wrap it up. Micro from NTY store. It's another video of how to put your handlebars grip on. So bar, mirrors, and controllers pretty much. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video.